Make sure you get that. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Garrett's Gear Corner. I'm trying to figure out a name for this thing. Right now it's just my name as the, uh, the title of the channel, and that might be a little weird for some people. My wife. Um, anyway, I'm here with Derek Hi. from Dex EDC. Not sure if he updates that channel anymore, but no, you should go check it out. It's been quite a long time. Ah, I'm so sorry. It's okay. <sighs> I'm sure he'll get back on it eventually. All right. Anyway, so today, the reason I'm talking to Derek, because he knows a lot more about knives than me. Um, so today we're going to talk about EDC knives. We've been talking about EDC stuff. Uh, I talked about wallets. Talk about sunglasses, which isn't really a, it's technically an EDC thing. You wear glasses, so. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, EDC stuff. Uh, I talked a little bit about flashlights. Maybe we'll talk more about flashlights later. Uh, but yeah, so for this video, we're going to talk about EDC knives, and we're going to focus on under $50, because I know y'all a bunch of cheapskates out there, and honestly, I was too until recently. Um, because you can get pretty far with 50 bucks, yeah? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot. You're going to see there's a lot of different options here. So kind of whatever your style is, you can definitely find something for $50. Yeah. So, rad. You ready? I don't know why I just said rad. I don't know. I'm officially a dad now. I got to go. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's do this. Uh, so how do we have these organized right now? Uh, let's do from low to high. Um, cool. Price point. I'm going to pull in the, uh, this is the knife camera. Woo. This is for sure isn't just a cell phone on a... On a ball head with no legs. We are more professional than that. Yes. We are totally professional. So, uh, let's go with something really weird out of the gate here. This is an Openel. Um, it is a, it's made in France. Uh, and they're basically just a folding knife, um, a wooden folding knife. Oh. Pretty open this thing. So it's oh. got a uh, collar lock on it. So you rotate the collar, and uh, then you pop that sucker open. And then close and you, it so you don't chop your fingers off. Yeah, you can rotate the collar again, and it locks it into place. So um, if you know about OpenL, then you know about OpenL. They, um, there's communities, EDC forums, all that stuff, where the people mod these things like crazy. Um, so there, I think this one is an OpenL number 9. Uh, the smaller the number, the smaller the knife, and this is the nine, so it's kind of on the, the larger end, and it's like $15. Awesome, 15 bucks. Not bad. It is, it's kind of old man looking, uh, <laughs> like, gonna go out in the woods and f catch a fish and eat it. That's it. I don't know how you catch fish in the woods. It, maybe you find a stream. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool looking, though. I they, mean, yeah, I mean, they get razor sharp. Um, and oh, they, nice. they come in these carbon steels and they also have, um, like stainless as well. Uh, they might be a few dollars more. Cool. Uh, Give me a, okay. Lightning round on steel. Why does it matter? And, <sighs> and what is the main thing you gain going from a knife like this to a more expensive knife that we'll talk about in a different video? Yeah. I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna... It depends on if you get a lower steel, it's it's you'll be able to resharpen it, you know, a little bit easier. Um, once we get into some other stuff, you'll see in the next video there we've got like really nice steels, but they and they last a long time. But you're gonna have a pain sharpening them. <laughs> cool. Oh yeah, if I didn't mention, this is gonna be a two part video because we have too many knives to talk about in one video. We're for sure not crazy serial killers. No. Don't don't come after us. Knives are tools. Yeah. Uh, there. Okay. So that, that's that's the other thing. Why carry a pocket knife? Tools. You, like, how many of you open a package or you have, like, a string that needs to be cut or, like, my daughter comes down and needs a tag cut off her shirt? You have a knife. Yes. It's a tool. You have knives for daughters. <laughs> Came from Derek. All right. Um, cool. But, yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I, I work in, uh, in video. I'm in a studio a lot. And you wouldn't think that I would always be cutting things, but I'm always cutting things. Boxes, zip ties, a big one. Yeah. Zip ties hold everything together. Uh, gaffer's tape, duct tape. Need the tool. Hey, guess what? There's a clock in the background. All right, so what, what do we have next? Uh, we're going to do the Victorinox Swiss Army right there. Uh, that one is... It's the classic SD. So these things are basically the go-to keychain knife, in my opinion. They are 
super handy. You're going to have a knife that can actually cut things. I went to New York and, like, was afraid of getting all my good knives confiscated. So I uh, brought this. Yeah. And, you know, could still actually cut something. Really it's got really scissors, nice. which is great. Um, the file is helpful when you have a wife or you are somebody who likes to uh, file their nails. Got some scissors, file, and there's no, this isn't like a special steel or anything. It's just eh, a stainless it's their it pri- Yeah, proprietary Got a little Swiss Army steel. Tweezers, tweezy boys, <laughs> tweezy see. boys, uh, toothpick. Yeah, a lot of cool little stuff in this. And you can keep it on the keychain. This is actually, I. this is my knife. I carry this around. Um, and yes, it's a Ron John knife. It was on sale. <laughs> I don't serve. Still Victorinox. It still is Victorinox, yeah. So it, it is branded. Um, but yeah, I carry this in my the change pocket of my jeans yeah. as a second knife. And you can get this into places that you can't get other knives, which is what he mentioned earlier with the New York thing. Yep. Um, and it's cheap enough that if they do take it, you can just throw it in the trash can and not worry about it. Non-locking blade, so that gets past a bunch of laws. Super short knife. Yeah. And it comes in at $16. So, yeah. So next is the Ontario Rat Model 2. So this is the smaller version. They made the Rat 1, um, which is a little bit bigger. And uh, a very good knife. Surprisingly good at um, with its action in opening. Very, very smooth. It's, it is not assisted or auto in any way. It just has a very smooth opening for a manual knife. Yeah, so let's let's talk about the opening, opening and lock mechanisms. I mean, we can hit them as we go. So knives, uh, like we we are we've already seen three different ones. Uh, knives have a bunch of different ways you can open them. This one's just kind of a free free baller. Yeah, it's free baller. Well, it's got a knife nick in it somewhere. You see somewhere. the nick? I don't see it. Nick. I think it's right right there. Oh right. yeah yeah. It's knife okay. nick. So it has like a little 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 thumbnail thing you can pull it out with. Uh, this guy, kind of the same thing, but this is a, what's, what's this lock called? Just a it's resistance? Uh, not slip resistance. joint. Yeah, slip joint, there you go. So it kind of locks itself, but it doesn't lock, actually. Uh, this guy actually locks, his little thumb stud. Whoa, watch that. Hold on, let's try it. You got it. Ready? There we go. There it is. All right, so yeah, it's very smooth, though, you're right. Yeah. Um, and this, I, I keep in my backpack. This is my knife. Uh, it's a good knife. Super cheap. How much was it again? Uh, let's see here. About. 26-ish dollars. Cool. Yeah, so don't, don't, don't quote us on these prices. They could change at any time. These yeah. things go on sale all the time. Yeah. I'll, I'll, and I'm going to link these in the description below. So if you want to buy one, just click one of those links. Guys, help me out. I'm, <laughs> it's, it's my affiliate links. I'm not a sponsor. Nor do I get anything for this other than just hanging out. So uh, that one is, yeah, you do get the um, liner lock in there. Uh, super solid G10 handle. I don't like how the pocket clip wears. I just hate it. Oh uh, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to shoot some some little B-roll of how they sit in your pocket. All these guys. Yeah, and, and uh, like the wear that it picks up when you're walking around. It's just like I don't like that. Oh uh, yeah, the, yeah. The pocket clip. You can see this one's kind of beat up. This was actually a pickup. This I did not buy this. I'm not gonna say from where. Um, but yeah, it, it got the. It's it's like painted. It's not. Yeah, it's just coated. There's yeah. some that are like. Iodized. That's a, not a word. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So what's what do you got next? Here? Uh, that is your. Oh, this Almar. is this is my knife. Okay, so this this one's a this one's a funny one. I I bought this back in the day. Um, because I wanted something lighter than the one of the next ones we're going to talk yeah. about. Um, and smaller. So what I got is this. I didn't really know what I was getting into, but it's pretty cool. This is this is the. Uh, Kershaw AM3. It's a, it's an Elmar designed knife. Uh, that probably doesn't matter to anyone out there who's watching this video. Well, of course it does. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> what kind of handle is this? It's I know part it's of probably it's probably G10. Metal. So yeah, so, yeah so it's, it's like con- it's contoured G10. Yeah, Look at so that. half of it is G10. The other half is just metal of some sort because it's a quite aluminum. Because it's a frame lock, yeah. Um, it is. Frame locks are great. It's a frame great. lock. Yeah, so frame lock's very strong. It'll it'll get you a long way. It won't close on your fingers and chop your fingers off, which is always a bonus. I like my fingers. Yeah. Um, but this one, there's a there's a few weird things about this. One, look at the blade. This this blade is super pokey. Yeah. As I like to say, it's a very very pokey, stabby blade. Um, which for my purposes, 
probably your purpose is not the best. Yeah, I mean, like if we're using knives as tools, then yeah, like yeah. you, uh, it's not great to have something that's a piercer, uh, you know. But like opening yeah. boxes, you can. It's nice to have something with a little bit more belly to cut things. So yeah, it is. It was very sharp when I got it. The the steel is not great, so it, it's it is kind of dull already. But the uh, yeah, it's a little too pokey. I also, I'm also not the best. I don't treat my knives the best. I use them as screwdrivers sometimes, oh. uh, which you can't even do with this. So uh, I mean, that's that's the thing that that'll me. keep you from killing your knife. It was also very hard to open at first. It's got, it's loosened up a little bit, but yeah. So that's the Almar. It's kind of cool looking. Good pocket clip. I will it say is. that. Great pocket clip. Nice it, deep it wears, carry. It wears very nice in the pocket. Um, I'll roll in some footage of that maybe. Great. But yeah. I do like the collaborations that uh, Kershaw does. They have a lot of good stuff. I like Almar's style. Like that that dagger thing is kind of cool. So. It is cool. And for those of you who don't know, Almar is a knife designer. Uh, for those of you not knife people out there. All right. Next one. This is one of my favorite. Um, if you just need a small knife to throw like in like this one goes in my back pocket so uh this is the victorinox cadet and this is the alox scale so it has these aluminum scales you won't find the pocket clip or i'm sorry the uh what are those things called tweezers and mm. uh pick for your like to little toothpick um in here but you're still gonna get an amazing blade uh like let's pull in i don't know here's this other one. I mean, like, that's pretty, I mean, that's pretty close. This is, what, a three-inch blade? That's a little yeah. over three inches, I think. And or it's not three. Let me see. So this blade length is 2.5. So um, it's a great, you do get a decent blade for just a very thin, thin little knife you throw in. So it's got, obviously, a knife. It's got the file with, like, the, the pick for your underneath your fingernails or whatever. You've got bottle or can opener, bottle opener, little screwdriver. They even have like a wire stripper here. Oh, that's I've cool. tried to actually use it. Does um, it work? Yeah, works pretty well. Oh, nice. We don't have uh, any wire here. No, we don't. Uh, that would come in handy though. I've actually I've stripped many a cable <laughs> with just a normal knife blade. Actually, my knife that's in my pocket right now has been used as a strip stripper. My nicest stripper, guys. So um, yeah, but these wait, are where's great. the blade in this? Oh, Oh, yeah. The blade. So that oh, is thirty-two dollars from Blade HQ, Victorinox. Yep. Nice knife. Super great. Love it. Very thin. It's 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 actually very. It's actually, it's a little thinner than the. It's a little little thinner than the rat, yeah. which is also already a pretty thin it's knife. Like the thinnest thing here. That's pretty. That's impressive. All right, what we got next? Oh, Kershaw. Oh, another Kershaw. This you guy's got a champion. Yeah, I okay, so oh, there's three Kershaw. You're gonna here. see a lot of Kershaw. <laughs> and the reason for that is they make a lot of great knives that are under fifty dollars. They they make a really they make a really good knife and they're really cheap. Um honestly if I if someone were to come up to me and say, What knife should I get? I have twenty bucks to spend, I would probably recommend a Kershaw knife. You might not. What, what would you say? Twenty dollars? I can't say twenty dollars. Okay, I gotta do research. Fifty dollars under I mean, fifty bucks. Yeah, I mean the, all of these are amazing. You're gonna get good money out of Kershaw and the Ontario series too. Rat one, rat two. Yeah. Cool thing about this knife. Uh, oh wait. Oh, you, you were talking about this. Go ahead and get run down, run down the spec list. Unless you don't oh. Uh, no, this is so it's three point two five inch yep. blade. Thing is a beast. It's the assisted <laughs> opening. Um, it jumps. Yeah. It, uh, and you feel it. it. That's a heavy blade, man. <laughs> It's too heavy for me. <laughs> that knife is so heavy. It's five and a half ounces. This is a heavy knife. Okay, so this is the knife I was talking about when I when I bought this thing. This isn't that light of a knife compared to some of the stuff you'll see later. Yeah. But compared to this boy, like this thing was pulling down my pants <laughs> when I would put on when I would put on basketball shorts. I was low riding, and that doesn't look good on me. Um, I will say. say that. On all of these, okay, so this is an assist open, just like the Almar was, um, which means there's a little thumb stud right here. And if you just flick that, the knife jumps out very, very forcefully. It's good. I like it. <laughs> it is good. So it's 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 basically as close to a switchblade or an automatic knife you can get with while still being legal in most states. Yeah. Yep. A lot of people, like in Pennsylvania, which is where I live, is uh, automatic is no-go, but assisted is perfectly fine. Yeah. So 
Great thing to have, easy to open one hand. Uh, if you're a lefty, uh, I think it's reversible, all four. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. So you can move the pocket clip any on any side if you like tip up, tip down carry. And it is a solid knife coming in at $33. 33 that's pretty good. Yeah. I can see why I bought it. <laughs> it's also got this sick... What's it called? Stone wash? I don't know what yeah. this is. No, I think they call it black wash. Black wash, yeah. It's it's like it looks like, like a battle worn. Yeah. Type. It's a darker stone wash, basically. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's great. I got another black wash coming up. Yeah, it's kinda like my jeans. <laughs> great. <laughs> okay, uh, but yeah, I will I will say, at least with these, your yours might be different because it's not an assist open. With the assist open Kershaw knives, I found the thumb studs be basically useless. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, they you almost have to use the, the little flippy thing because it just it's just too hard to get your finger on the thumb stud and use it. Um, one last thing about this one, this is a super deep pocket clip, and I'll roll some footage in of that. But yeah. like you don't even you can't it's even gone. tell you have a knife in your pocket when this is there. Besides the Kershaw logo right on the uh, the thing. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good clip. Great knife. All right. Moving right along. Second to last. It's another Victorinox, and like, I know what you're thinking. You don't need Swiss Army knives, you just want regular knives. But like, Swiss Army knives have a lot to bring to the table. Do they? They do. This, okay, so this one is even, I don't know, it's chock full of stuff. It's a four layer Victorinox. This is a deluxe tinker. So um, basically, it's got tons of stuff in it, and the biggest thing that they put in here is these little bitty. Huh. Pliers. Is that a plier? Oh, those yeah. are pliers. Yeah. You can pull some serious nose hairs with those. So we got pliers on there. You're going to get um, your regular, like, pen <laughs> knife. See if I can open all the crap out of this. Oh, Good, go careful. ahead and talk about it. Do You have a secondary knife in there, a little bit shorter. You're going to get, oh, man, this is going to be hard to watch. No, I got this. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Uh, let's see here. Bottle opener, can opener, all that stuff. You're going to get... Um, this, okay, you're gonna, this is like playing. What's, what's that game with the clown that you have to you have to take the pieces out of? Uh, operation. Operation. Yeah. yeah. How did I not know that? So, this is like operation that you can actually cut your fingers off. Yeah. Uh, the scissors are big and that, awesome. I love it. Yet. Yeah. I mean, it's really hard to open that back. Man, I, no, man, I got it. Ew. Okay. So <laughs> also, this screwdriver. Um, there's an actual like three dimensional screwdriver on there. Maybe I should open this side first. Yeah, it's because oh, yeah, you got all the old things open. So there's a That's parcel hook on there, which is basically useless, and an awl, which I've used maybe once in what, my life. What, what is an awl? An awl? I'm not going to even get that out. No, because you got all the other things open. You got to yeah. like close the I'm other cut side. Myself. So the awl is just like a sharp like punch, like a hole punch. Ah, gotcha. So, super great. And if you guys are saying, like, what the heck did he do? Yes, I Frankensteined it a little bit. And I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. There's a Benchmade pocket clip on there. Oh. I drilled it out a little bit and put some screws in it, super glued it a little bit, and it actually works. It's a beautiful thing. You little MacGyver. So. <laughs> that comes in at $45. Also, I love that the knife is still huge, but... It uses the same. No, it's not the same. I bet it's the same. No. You watch. <sighs> no, it's not. Oh, it's the... not. Oh, it's not the same. Now it's stuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. If only we had something to open it. Okay, you, you want to talk about that next Do one while I dig this out? Okay, great. I... All right, so the next one is another Kershaw, the last Kershaw, and the most expensive knife on the table here. Also the biggest. Yeah. This is a... Beefy boy. Oh, this oh. is the Kershaw Skyline XL. This was a Blade HQ exclusive um, that released, I think it was probably right before Christmas two is, years ago. Is, is, the, is the, the Skyline XL ex, like as a knife an exclusive or just the scales or something? I think it's the XL in, in it okay. by itself. So you can so. only get a Blade HQ. There will yeah. not be an Amazon link to this. No, I'm so sorry. It's okay. But there is a normal Skyline. Uh, that's what I didn't mention about some of these other knives. Some of these other knives, if you don't want a long blade, this so the, the Almar has a version that has a longer blade, which yes. you probably, I don't know if you would want. This is actually a really long blade. It's very small, yeah. deceptively long. Um, the, the Cryo... This is the this is the beefy boy version. There are smaller versions of this. Yes, it is the um, cryo one. Yep, yep. The cryo normal cryo. If you want and a bigger then, version of that, you've got the the rat one. 
Yes, yeah, so the, the the Ontario Rat. The, there is a bigger version. This is the small version. Yeah? yeah, the two. Yeah, it's why they all do that different. It's great. So this is the big version. So the Kershaw Skyline and Skyline XL all have the exact dim- same dimensions, uh, and you just get basically a nice liner lock. This is a manual flipper, and uh, I'm not crazy about the pocket clip. What's wrong with it? Uh, it sticks so far out when you have it tip up. When you have it tip down, it's not as bad, but I don't like carrying knives tip down. Ooh, that's a big don't blade, man. Don't at me. Um, so, yeah, it's, what is it, 3.75 inch. Like I said, here's another example of Kershaw's black wash, where it's got that dark stone wash finish. I really like it. G10 handle. Yeah. Uh, this one is not American-made. I'm pretty sure. I don't think a lot Wait. of these are American-made. No, 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 I think this one is American-made. It is American-made. So that's why, I mean, that's why the, it'd be 50 bucks, the, yeah. This, yeah, the, no, I'm sorry. No. Uh, so, the original... Kershaw Skyline is American made. This one is a Chinese made one. Oh, jeez, dude, China? I'm sorry. American ATR 13 made. MOV blade steel. Why is this guy even here? I'm doesn't, so sorry. Know where these things I'm are so made. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think, but actually, I think all these are made in China, except for maybe this would maybe the Victorinox knives. Yeah, or? I mean they're probably made in. Let me see. Victorinox land. land. In the, Victoria, Victoria land. <laughs> no, they're Swiss. Swiss made. Yeah. Switzerland. Duh. Oh, Swiss Army. Swiss, Swiss is good. Swiss, and Swiss is good. France. Oh, in France, yeah. Yes. That's true. But I mean, how hard is it to make this? It's very hard. It's an art, sir. It might be. It, okay. It's an art. Like everything else that's French. <sighs> so. <laughs> it's, there it is. Did we say the wrong. price on this? I paid $50 for this. If you can find it somewhere, it'll probably be less. And the Skyline does, the normal Skyline, not XL, does run about $45. Cool. So cheaper. Cheaper. The not special edition, smaller version. Yeah. Is is cheaper. I like big knives though. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so that was our cheap knife rundown. Oh, yes. Cheap budget. Budget knife rundown. None of these are cheap. Cheap is subjective. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, we've owned a lot of knives, and yeah. we've I've had like other knives that are not here that are in this price range that I've like gotten rid of because like they're not my favorite. So these are the ones that have kind of really stuck around. So they might that might be saying something. Like they're good. Yeah. So. Um, that's yeah, it. that's true. That's it. Uh, stick around. We're going to do a not-so-budget knife rundown. If you want to go a little little bougier not, with your ADC. Not that much more. Just a little bit. Just save just a little just bit. Just save a little bit more. It's coming. Uh, yeah. So watch out for that next. Thank you for watching. Um, for sure, watch the next video. I'm going to link it right on top of his face because I can. Um, maybe. Can I, I haven't ended, I haven't put slates on any of these videos yet. But anyway, yeah, so. I can so try. I'm I can move. <laughs> so, but watch the next video or whatever's linked here. I might link to a previous video here. But yeah, uh, like, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. <laughs>